actual tornado. Without our senses, that world would disappear. Without our senses, we'd be completely lost. There's about a tenth of a second delay between the information being received by our eye and processed by the brain. Now, a tenth of a second doesn't sound like a lot, but it means that in order for me to do this, and not this, ow, <laughs> my brain has to predict what's going to happen next. Psychologists like Gustav call these expectations our internal model. It's the way we see the world, and it's... It turns out clouds really do have weight, and a lot of it. Our cloud weighs the same as a Boeing 757, a blue whale, or a herd of elephants. Hey, are you seeing this? What if your flight took you into a lightning storm. Now, supposedly, aircraft are built to withstand lightning strikes, but is that myth or science? Turns out lightning can flow into your house through anything that conducts electricity. Computers, appliances, a phone line, even the plumbing. And if you're touching any of these things when it does, the electrical charge could hit you. Apparently, one guy even got zapped sitting on the toilet. Bummer. Looks like we're getting there. That looks pretty good. The lightning enters the nose, then seems to disappear until it comes out the tail. What gives? What gives is something called a Faraday cage. Every plane has one. When lightning strikes, <laughs> it is redirected around the outside of the plane by the cage. That means everything inside the plane, that's you and I, is protected. Seems pretty obvious that with colors, what you see is what you get. But is that myth or science? Around 40,000 BC, Cro-Magnons ruled the Earth. Their fuel was meat and their blood type was O. That's why he says O types should eat protein. When we became herders, our diet and blood type changed again. Dairy products, meat and fruit were on the menu and blood type B emerged. Trees are prone to lightning strikes because of their size and their shape. They're also awesome conductors of electricity from the sky down to the ground. But what if you're a few meters away from the tree when it gets struck? Should be pretty safe, right? Ow! No, wrong! Turns out, lightning is so powerful, it can actually jump from the tree and strike anyone in a three to four meter radius. 